Silicon Valley may have started the tech revolution, but it's no longer the only player in the game. While the West debates regulations and ethics, China is building a future faster than anyone else. From artificial intelligence to quantum computing, smart cities to surveillance systems, China isn't just competing, it's winning, and the world should be paying attention. The shift you didn't see coming. For decades, the US dominated the tech world. Apple, Google, Microsoft. These were the giants shaping global innovation. But over the last 15 years, a quiet shift has occurred. China has emerged not just as a manufacturing powerhouse, but as a technological superpower. It now leads the world in key areas like 5G, artificial intelligence, drone technology, facial recognition, and even quantum communication. And while many Western viewers still see China as the factory of the world, behind the scenes, it has been investing billions into research, development, and innovation infrastructure. This isn't just about who makes your smartphone. This is about who defines the future of civilization. How China got ahead. Let's break down how this happened, because China didn't get here by accident. It starts with policy. The Chinese government isn't just passively supporting tech, they're driving it. In 2015, China launched its Made in China 2025 initiative, a national plan to dominate high-tech industries including robotics, aerospace, biotech, semiconductors, and next-gen communications. This wasn't a startup ecosystem hoping for venture capital. This was state-level strategy backed by immense funding, long-term planning, and aggressive education reform. The government subsidized tech companies, supported research institutions, and even partnered with private firms to build out infrastructure faster than the West could imagine. And it worked. The battle for AI supremacy. There's one arena that represents the tech race perfectly, it's artificial intelligence. AI is the defining technology of the 21st century, and China knows it. In 2017, China declared its ambition to become the global AI leader by 2030. Just three years later, it had already surpassed the US in the number of published AI research papers and patents. But it didn't stop there. China also has a massive advantage, data. With a population of over 1.4 billion and looser data privacy laws, Chinese tech giants like Tencent, Baidu, and Alibaba are collecting and analyzing data on a scale that Western companies can't match. In the AI race, data is fuel, and China is sitting on an oil field. Surveillance state or smart city. One of the most controversial aspects of China's tech dominance is its use of surveillance. The Chinese government has implemented one of the most extensive facial recognition networks in the world. Cameras are everywhere, in streets, subways, schools, even apartment buildings. Algorithms can track movement, analyze behavior, and even assign social credit scores to citizens based on their actions. To some, it's dystopian. To others, it's efficiency. But here's the twist. Many of these technologies are now being exported to other countries. From Zimbabwe to Serbia, governments are buying Chinese surveillance systems. And in doing so, importing Chinese values about privacy, control, and digital governance. China isn't just winning the tech race. It's exporting its blueprint for digital power. Part five, hardware dominance, who owns the network? While the world obsesses over apps and platforms, China is quietly building the hardware foundation for the future. Huawei, once a relatively unknown telecom company, is now at the center of global politics. Why? Because it dominates 5G infrastructure, faster speeds, lower latency, massive connectivity. 5G is the backbone of everything from autonomous cars to remote surgery. And Huawei isn't alone. DJI leads the drone market globally. China manufactures the vast majority of the world's consumer electronics. And it's becoming more self-reliant in chip production through companies like SMIC. Control the hardware and you control the pipeline. That's a strategic position no other country can currently match. Global response. Western countries are starting to wake up. The US has placed sanctions on Huawei, banned TikTok from government devices, and is pushing to bring semiconductor production back to American soil. The European Union is pushing for digital sovereignty. Alliances like the Quad and Indo-Pacific partnerships are being used to counterbalance China's influence in emerging tech markets. 
But here's the uncomfortable truth. China's momentum is real, and catching up won't be easy. It's not just about banning apps. It's about matching the scale, speed, and strategic coherence of China's entire tech ecosystem. Why this matters to you. You might be thinking, this is a global battle. What does it have to do with me? The answer, everything. The technologies you use every day, your phone, your internet connection, your apps, are increasingly shaped by international dynamics. The rules around data privacy, freedom of expression, and digital identity will be defined by who controls the infrastructure and the algorithms. If China becomes the global standard setter for tech, the digital world may operate under very different rules. Ones where surveillance is normalized, censorship is embedded, and innovation is tied closely to state interests. On the other hand, this competition could push the West to innovate faster, invest smarter, and rethink its approach to technology as a public good. Either way, the next decade will define the digital architecture of the 21st century. And whether we like it or not, China is in the lead. The bottom line. This isn't about fear, it's about awareness. China's rise in tech isn't just a headline, it's a shift in global power. The nation has proven that it can move fast, build big, and shape the future at scale. And while the West debates and delays, China acts. The question isn't just, can the US or Europe catch up? It's, what kind of digital world do we want to live in? And who will build it? Because the future isn't written in code, it's written by those who control it. If you found this video eye-opening, make sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to The Gadget Grid for more deep dives into the tech that's shaping our future. We've got more coming on AI, digital power, and the battles you don't see but need to understand. Drop a comment below. Do you think China's tech rise is a threat, an opportunity, or something in between?